welcome to this businesstraining.com video module on ways to influence word of mouth. Now we also have another video on the definition and overview of word of mouth if you are curious about uh, more what it simply is, but here we can recap the definition. So word of mouth according to the public relations blogger glossary is the advertising of a product or brand that takes b place between c customers. This is promoted through people networks referring to word of mouth as word of mouth as well. There is no or shouldn't be much outside influence or management from the company or brand. That's usually referred to as astroturfing, which is something that uh, PR professionals look down upon <laughs> everywhere, and so do customers. And additionally, the Word of Mouth Marketing Association defines word of mouth marketing as giving people a reason to talk about your products and services and making it easier for that conversation to take place. It is the art and science of building active, mutually beneficial consumer to consumer and consumer to marketer communications. Now, while companies shouldn't do much influencing or much managing of word of mouth, there are ways that you can influence your brand's word of mouth or, or really to encourage positive word of mouth. And um, it, it is hard to control and there's really little control a company has over word of mouth, but you can try to help influence and encourage positive word of mouth again. So those ways include being responsible. Be a responsible company, which means taking responsibility. This can be socially, environmentally, and in relation to consumer complaints and potential crises. Avoid putting the blame on another company. Your customers will not appreciate that. To follow from that, be a responsive company. This means taking action and being involved. For example, product recalls, misinformation, or a company scandal are things that should be addressed and dealt with. Response can happen online, in a press conference, or an interview with the media. Try to avoid disappearing and being unavailable to give answers. This can generate, of course, negative word of mouth if you do that. Respond in a timely manner. This is a crucial part of avoiding a crisis and hindering the results that word of mouth can cause. Word of mouth can spread like a wildflower, especially with the number of users online and the number of users online talking. And from there, make educated responses. Do your research. Before you respond, if word of mouth is doing damage to your company but could be definitely false, you may not need to respond at all. For example, when Pepsi was accused of allowing syringes to be canned in some of their soda, they waited to respond until they were sure of the accusation's falsity. Though taking action is important, knowing that the rumor was not possible, they saved millions of dollars that would have been spent in a recall. Had the rumor been true, however, it would have been crucial that they responded differently. The rumor was eventually found out to be just that, a rumor. And lastly, generate positive PR by being really out there in the open and by being honest and really sharing great information about you. You can also do things like... Um, publicity stunts or you know things that will generate positive PR about you but aside from just doing the above you know you can really generate some great PR by being responsive being responsible and responding in a timely manner based on your educated responses so you know just just follow those things and uh, another way that you can really influence and generate or help to encourage positive word of mouth is to create places where customers can talk with each other, where you can talk to your customers and where answers can be found for questions that they may have of you. Furthermore, it is a vital part of your PR planning that you track word of mouth about your company and take it somewhat ser seriously, you know. Um, to reiterate some research and a lot of things that we maybe have heard about customers uh, really making decisions, they base their purchasing decisions on what their friends and peers say. If there is a complaint somewhere online that they have access to or that you have access to, try responding. Know that this takes some common sense, though, and responding must be done only in the right situations. If consumers begin talking poorly about your company but are somewhat misinformed or looking for answers, take the initiative to reply to their concerns. This is a great way to further influence and to further uh, promote good word of mouth about you, showing that you are responsible, responsive, and that you're able to respond in a timely manner. And now lastly is to create loyal customers with all of the above. And really creating a loyal customer is more than simply telling someone, hey, be loyal. You know, it requires a lot of work. There are times um, where timing is going to be the most important thing. You know, getting customers can be really tricky. And there are times in a customer's life when things change. And with those things like preferences, um, loyalties and needs and wants will also change. These times can be like a graduation from college, 
retirement, marriage, having children, etc. And for companies looking for new customers or to maintain current customers, they have to be aware of these changes so as to move in and make their services available to the new or, you know, quote unquote, new customers that now fit their target market descriptions. So that's one way to generate new customers is to be aware of changes and, um, you know, to be that first source of product or first source of service for a customer whose life is changing, that can be a great way to create a loyal customer and to really talk and speak to their needs as a personified company, you know, encouraging word of mouth from others and being a, and being there and being available. Those can all be great ways to turn a customer into a loyal customer. Now, other ways include, of course, offering deals, discounts and contests, etc. You can also offer excellent customer service and really serve and create customers that are more than satisfied. The only bad thing with deals, discounts, or contests, etc., is that you generally attract customers that are more often than not unloyal to all of the brands that they purchase. They are referred to as brand hoppers, meaning that they're very price sensitive, are aware of changes in price, and look for the best prices available. The best way to generate loyal customers, offer something others cannot. That can include something like customer service, technology that is trademarked, etc. But if you're not able to find or develop something like that, develop something you can, service that goes above and beyond. Um, a satisfied customer is one that I talked about um, just a second ago who will jump from brand to brand based on things like price because they satisfy a need or want um, and really a need may be to save money. But to create that loyal customer, you have to do something more. You have to wow them beyond... Um, you know, I need milk. It doesn't matter what brand of milk I purchase. You know, you have to blow way beyond their expectations and give them a reason to buy your product uh, or brand next time, even if you are a little more expensive. So those are some ways to create loyal customers. And this is probably the number one way um, to generate or to promote positive word of mouth is to create these loyal customers. So that's why this is such a large portion of this sort of video here. Loyal customers will talk about you. They will advocate you. They will be your enthusiastic marketer who walks around and lives you. You know, these are people who love Apple products or who love Volkswagens or, you know, who really prefer a type of food and will refer everyone that they know to it. And that's the best kind of word of mouth. So that sums up our word of mouth influencing. Uh, tactics. Thank you for watching this business training.com video. I hope you've enjoyed it. To learn more about the training and certification programs that we offer, please visit our homepage at business training.com.